Today, we put two fan favorite rarities to the test. In this corner, we have the Ghost Rare Packs and the Challenger, the Ultimate Rare Packs. Who will win? We'll have to find out. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we are battling 20 Ghosts from the Past 2 versus 20 OTS. These contain Ghost Rares. These contain Ultimate Rares. Let me know in the comments who's gonna win. And speaking of winning, one of you guys is gonna win the giveaway and the giveaway will involve every card we pull today. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know in the comments who will win, Ghosts or Ultimate. And if you guys remember last time we did one of these, we pulled a Ghost Rare, two of them actually. So you might wanna enter this giveaway. All right, let's start the opening off. The Challenger Ultimate Rares, they think they can beat up on ghost rares a lot of you guys for some reason think ultimate rare is better than ghost rare i mean you're wrong but i'll prove it to you in this video so let's see what we can do with the challenger this is you guys in the comments destiny hero dasher that's a good card just got a secret rare though so the super rare is probably not worth as much but still a nice printing of that card let's do ghost from the past to the real set can we pull another ghost rare? we got comedy we got the Fossil Machine Skull Convoy, and we've got Ghost Trick Zhangxi. All right, all right. It's cool, but not much of count there. Let's see what Ultimate Rare Packs can do. Who will win the battle? Will we pull a Nolzi? Will we pull a Ghost? Which will we pull first? Ogdoidic Token. All right, all right. Very cool, but not what we're looking for. We're looking for something insane, something epic. What will be in this pack? Rise of the Mega Monarch. That's worth like around $1, so... I mean, it's something. It's counting toward the scoreboard. All right, next one, we have the Ultimate Rare Pack. OTS 18. Will we pull something amazing so far? Nothing has been pulled amazing. We go straight break. And Phantom Knights of Break Sword. That one is not going to be counting. That's about tw 20, 30 cents. Not too crazy there. That's all right, though. It's still a pretty good card. OTS usually has almost always good super rares. Let's see what we can get in Ghost from the past two. Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. I thought this was a good card the entire time we opened all those cases. Turns out it, it's still not a bad card. It's just not worth that much. It was worth like 14 bucks out of Brothers of Legend. That's why I thought it was good. Or... Sorry, Battles of Legend before they changed the name. Disney or Celestial, cool. Ooh, and a Quagar Hercules, very nice. Okay, not the TP1 version, but still pretty sick. Let's see what Ghosts from the Past 2 can respond with. Right now, it's pretty close in the in the low scoring range. Let's see what the next one can be. Ghost Trick Mary, all right, the Vampire Sucker and the Vampire Takeover. So far, not the most eventful opening, for sure. Let's see if we can pull something cool. Ghost Ring Angel of Mischief. We got the Tang. That guy. And the Token Collector, I think, is up to like four or five bucks again. So, still pretty good. Very nice Super Rare version. Better than that common version on the other ones. Vampire Sorcerer. Let's get a Ghost Rare. Infernity Pawn. So far, no one has proved themselves to be the best. Number 97, Dragoobleon. That might be over a buck. It was around a dollar last time I saw. Okay. Okay. Looking cool. Looking cool. But uh, we're really we're saving it for the end. You know, we want it to be a little dramatic. Incantation. We got the Retainer and the Baby Sarasaurus. Man, I love the foil on this. Look how shiny it is. It's kind of like a ghost rare. It's gray and then it's super rainbowy right there. Pretty nice, super rare. I like it. Plus, love dinos. Very cool. Next pack, Yang Zing. Advanced Ritual Art. We got the DDD Destiny King Zero Laplace. All right, he's the Laplace, but um, he's not very good. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Tang. Tang Nasker. I, I don't know how to say that. That wasn't even close. Quagar Hercules again. All right, another super rare. There's a super in every pack, so that doesn't mean that much. Let's see what we can do. Can we? So this pack has all commons and supers. This is all ultras and ghosts, so it's kind of interesting. Mystical Sand. I feel like I haven't seen that in a while. We saw it so much at the beginning. Kind of chilled out a little bit. Let's see what OTS can do for us. The Gnolvig and the Ogdoidic token. So far, 40 packs. Out of these 40 packs, there really has not been much at all. This has been pretty tame in terms of the pulls. Tatsun Necro, number 97 Dragoon googly on again okay and like goes from the past too i think hawk fibrax was down like three four bucks so like really and aluber was down to 15 or 14 so everything's pretty low right now diverge oh 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 an infusion destiny ultimate rare wow it's centered of course the one i'm giving away is centered <laughs> the back is pretty uh pretty indented but yes this is going to be going to one of you guys make sure you enter the giveaway and speaking of giveaways go check out the community tab because i have announced them recently tons of different you know giveaways like two or three weeks worth Wow, that's a big boost for the ultimate rare. So maybe you guys in the comments aren't completely dumb. <laughs> Who am I kidding? All right, yeah, you guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, next one. Okay, and now that I'm uh, insulting my audience for no reason, I love you guys. I'm just kidding. Uh, Matt, yeah, I, you know what? I'm just a little salty that you guys are beating me, okay? Because I consider most of you guys on the ultimate rare train. Some of you guys agree with me on the ghost rares, though. So you guys are on my team, and uh, we are getting beat right now. Wow. Fusion Destiny, best one. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We've got the uh, Lara la la la. We got the uh, Vision Hero increase. Wow, this goes from the past two is a letdown right now. It is not good. We have not pulled anything good so far. Destiny Hero Celestial, the Phantom Knights. 
Kagamusha Knight. All right, cool card. Not really worth too much, though, but still a nice print if you play Phantom Knights. Those, the Super Rares from ODS are just so clean. Sandwich and Skull Knight again. All right, we're pulling all the bad cards out of this display. I definitely picked the wrong display. Diverge, Vampire Familiar, and a Dasher. That's another good one. If you guys missed the other day when he pulled an awesome card that he goes for the past two, go check out that blister opening I did the other day. Zone. Oh, and an Ultimate Rare. Oh, and the Red Eye. Let's go! What an opening! Also, we opened Magician's Force First Edition and stuff like that. So, definitely worth watching. Rookie Warrior Lady. We've got the Dramaturge of Despia. That's a good card. And then the Mardell. I think Dramaturge is like the best card in that pack. That's funny. Okay. All right. It's been cool. It's been cool. The um, Ultimate Rares might be winning a little bit, but uh, Token Collector. Wow, they're dominating right now. They're probably at like 100 bucks in value. And Ghost from the Past 2 is at like $2. <laughs> Two dollars. Come on. Fallen Sanctuary. That's how I feel. Where the ghosts have fallen from grace. They've become unclutch, which with the new ratios, I figured they have a better chance. But even with the crazy ratios of pulling a lot more sometimes than um, one per case, still not enough to beat one out of 16, 17 ultimate rares. I think that ratio is just too hard to beat. Protector of the Agents of Moon. OK, yeah, because at this point it's a beat down. It's not even close. It's like a JV team playing against like a like, you know, a college team or something. I don't know. We got the Manji, we got the incantation and the contact C. All right. Yeah, this is not close. This is not close. Let's go. Let's see what we can if we can change that. Signet, Domain, Ghost Trick Mary. All right, Despian Tragedy. That's one of the good cards. Uh, and by good, I mean a dollar. <laughs> Maybe. It might even be a dollar anymore, but that is a very good one. I sold out of mine pretty quick. Got a Manju 10,000 hands. Vampire Retainer. Contact C. Another nice one. Come on. I want to pull a ghost. And it's like, wait, I'm giving it away. Who cares? I still want to pull a ghost because it'll be awesome. Glow Bolt. Reptia Egg. And Shallow Vampire. And also, it's really fun sometimes to pull all these crazy cards and give them away because then people get super hyped about it. So it's, it's kind of fun. Diverge and Insector Pika Felina. Okay, they're pulling bad cards now. This is your chance, Ghost from the Past 2. Pika Felina is being pulled. It's telling you that you have a chance. We got the Tinny Spirit, Shathana. We got the Vampire Kingdom. We got the number 97 Dragoobleon. That's a play set of those. A play set of Dragoobleon. That's not what we're looking for. Only a few packs left in this. This is not that close. Like, this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. We got the Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. We got the Vampire Retainer. And we've got Quagar Hercules. Okay, come on, Ghost from the Past. I believe in you. You can do this. You can change everything here. You can make it so that we win this thing. Advanced Ritual Art. We got the Ghost Rick So Cute Boss. All right. Galaxy Soul. That's a good card. I mean, it's not a ghost, but it's definitely good. It's like a couple bucks, maybe even three bucks at this point. Which, yeah, you're like three bucks. Not going to matter when you have a fusion destiny. That is true. That is true. We got the, the tan. We're going to call him tan. Ghost trick break and token collector. That's like three or four of those. And that's like one of the best supers you can pull. That's definitely not helping. That's better than the galaxy soldier, which is the best pull they have. Okay, ghost trip. Here we go. Quintet. That's that's worth a buck. Nice. Math mech. Dark alligator. No, Despian tragedy. Okay, so we got a couple of good ones in there, but they're not good enough. They're not going to lead the comeback. We need to ghost trip. We got another pack. One pack of OTS, one pack of Ghosts from the Past 2. Here we go. Vampire Retainer. Impcantation Pinsaplume. And... Kagamusha Knight. All right, another super rare there, but that's fine. Because Ghost from the Past 2 is going to make a comeback right now. Basically, we need, like, Red Eyes, we need Blue Eyes, we need Dark Magician Girl. That might be the only ones that win it at this point. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if anything else is, you know, over 100 bucks at this point. Let's see. Tinu Spirit Ashuna. We've got the Lara J, the God of Archery. Agent of Wisdom, Mercury. Is it the... Wait, that's two. Okay, so it's not this one. Oh! Spoilers, it's a link. That means it can't be anything. Deco Tiger Heat Soul. That's at least a good card. I mean, we're not going to complain about that. I'm not going to say I was wrong, but Ultimate Rare kind of dominated this one. Don't forget to enter the giveaway to win that Ultimate Rare and all the other cards. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Stonefall Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mavic Echo, Daxter, Musa Jr., Barney, and Nunes High Show, JT Joe, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, and John Nolan. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.